Hello everyone, I'm Gianluca Pareca and I'm here to talk about the 2022 EWG golf season. This 11-3 team had a very dominant season while losing in the semifinals. We were able to talk to one of the players on the team, Robbie Simos, about how the season went. Take it, Cameron. The Exeter West Greenwich golf team had a very successful year ending the season with an 11-3 record. Unfortunately, they would go down fighting in the semifinals against a strong Narragansett team on the 25th of May. But even with the loss, the team and its fans believe the season was a step in the right direction. I spoke with Robbie Simos, a member of the golf team. Hi, I'm here with Robbie Simos, a member of the Exeter West Greenwich golf team. How are you doing, Robbie? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. So going into this season, how did you, along with your teammates, feel about how the season was going to go? Uh, uh, we felt the season was going to go really good. The guys in the golf team I'm all pretty close with. Uh, we played in the same basketball team, and uh, so our chemistry was pretty good. And where do you think your favorite course was to play, and what was the most challenging course you played this year? So my favorite course to play was probably Richmond Country Club. Uh, that's, um, my bad, Pinecrest, that's in Richmond Country Club. That's our home course. Um, and I would say the most challenging was Point Judith because it's down in Narragansett, the water, there's a wind, lots of wind. It's just a tough course in general. Yeah, definitely. And your team won against some really notable teams like Coventry and North Kingstown. What went into those matches that really helped you guys win? Uh, we know what we had to do before the matches. We knew those were going to be tough matches. Um, we ended up uh, beating NK that first game, which was a big game. Uh, we only beat them by like a few strokes, but we just knew what we had to play. It was at home, so we knew the course well, and it, we came together. And throughout the season, were there any golfers on your team that really played really well uh, that really helped you guys win those big games? So we had a, like a core group of guys. It was... Um, Mike Mahone and Matt Mears were our, were our one and two, so they really helped us. Um, and then it was me and Tyler Legassi. So uh, those are kind of like our four guys. And then occasionally we'd have uh, Charlie Horn, who was a freshman. He'd come in with a, a few, some few good scores. So overall, like us, this group of guys really put the team together. Yeah, definitely. And are there any last thoughts you have on the season and how you guys went overall? So overall, I think the season went pretty good. We ended up finishing, I believe, 11-3. and three, And... Uh, we had a tough uh, playoff match against uh, Narragansett, and uh, we lost to him by one, which would have put us to states, but uh, we didn't pull through there, but it's all good. I mean, we beat him both times in the regular season, so overall, I think the season went pretty good. Yeah, t definitely a tough way to end, but it sounds like you guys did pretty well. Thank you for your time, Robbie. Thank you very much. As Robbie said, the Point Judith course was the most challenging. I also spoke with Tyler Gassi, who had a slightly different perspective. Hi, I'm here with Tyler Lagasse, a member of the EWG golf team. How are you doing, Tyler? Good, how are you? Doing good. So going into the season, how did you, along with your teammates, think the season was going to go? Well, we knew this year coming in that we had basically didn't lose any seniors last year, so it was going to be a good year. Uh, we've been playing together for a while, so we knew it was going to be a good season. And then where was your favorite course to play at this year, and where, was you, where do you think it was the most challenging course you played at? Uh, my favorite course was definitely Point Judith this year because just it's a nice course, wide open. And uh, the most challenging course was probably Richmond because when we played it, there was like 40 mile an hour winds. You just couldn't, you know, where the ball was going. So it was tough. And your team won against some really notable teams like uh, North Kingstown and Coventry. Uh, what went into those games that really helped you guys pull out the win? Uh, well, we practice every day, so it's just practice and keeping our mindset. Golf's mental, so if you can keep your head straight and keep going, you know, that's what, that's what worked. Yeah. And um, were there any players that really helped you guys throughout the season that really stood out? Mike Mahone and Matt Mears were definitely big. Robbie was big too this year, and Charlie Horn came up a couple times with some good numbers that helped us win the match, so. And uh, what are your, do you have any final thoughts on how the season went this year, Ty? Uh, we had a great season. I think we could have gone to states, and it didn't, we didn't, it didn't end how we wanted it to, but it was, it was a good season, so we'll see. Next year we'll get him back. Yeah. All right, congratulations on a good season. Thank you for, for your time. Thank you. As we heard from the two of them, the team practiced every day at Pinecrest in Richmond, a beautiful course that allowed them to continue playing and getting better. This hard work paid off for the Knights as they were a very prominent team this year. Back to you, GL. As Robbie said, the team already had chemistry from the beginning due to the basketball team. They were able to win a big game against North Kingstown which put their morale up pretty high. They were able to keep the momentum going throughout the season with only a few hiccups at a couple games. We were able to get another point of view on the courses. As Tyler said, his favorite course was Point Judith. 
Robbie had previously said in his interview that he felt Point Judas was, was the most challenging course for him. We also now know that the team's morale was very high coming into the season. Good job to the team, and congratulations to all the seniors that graduated this year. Hope to see everyone next year. This is GL signing off.